The Moho exporter allows you to export out multiple Moho files at once. This is great if you have big projects and you want to save all the files until the end. You can render it all at once, allowing you to focus on other tasks and save time. It can also be useful if you need to render out a file multiple times in different ways. If you've used Moho for a while, this feature replaces the batch exporter. But I think you'll find all the things you liked about the batch exporter are here, plus way more. So to get started, you'll find the Moho exporter in the file menu. Just go to File, Moho Exporter, or Command B, or Control B if you're on Windows. The exporter will open in a new window, and you have less clutter than you did before with the batch exporter. It's much more streamlined. First, if you want to add your Moho or anime files to the exporter, you can drag and drop, or you can use the Add Files button at the top. When you click Add Files, you'll browse your file browser, and we'll just locate two files here, as an example, and then bring those in. When you do this, they appear in your list and you get some basic information. The project name, the format you're currently going to export them out to, where they're going to go to, the file name that you want to export as, and then you have layer comp information, if any, and then the status of the file as it exports out. If you need to add more files, you can do so with the Add Files button. You can also remove files just by clicking this one and clicking on your files and choosing to remove them. The Duplicate button at the top allows you to duplicate items on your list. So we could click on Donkey and then click on Duplicate, and we could queue up as many as we need. Let's say we need four of each. That way, we can do different formats to cover all of our bases. To change the export information of a file, you can double click or use the wrench icon. This works just like it would when exporting out individual files from Moho. You can choose your start and end frames, the output format, your render options, and then down here, you can choose your destination as well as file name. If you're working on a big project and as you add files, you want to use the same settings, click on Save as Defaults. That way, as you add files, they'll retain these settings and save you time. Click OK. Now again, the benefit here with being able to duplicate items is with this elephant, I could set it as an MP4. I could come down here, double click on my elephant, and choose for this list to go for, let's say, an SVG. Click OK. And then this elephant could go, let's say, animated GIF. And then our final one could be maybe an MP4, but using a different preset or a codec. Also, there are quick options you can access by right-clicking. Just right-click on any file. You can choose to show it in your file browser, remove it from the list, duplicate. You can change the format right there without having to go into the settings, and you can also change the destination. It'll save your recent destinations as well as allow you to choose the same folder as a project file or your own folder. Once you're ready to export your files, come up here and click the Start button. It looks like a Play button and you'll start seeing the status on the right. It'll go through your list and export out each item as they appear from top to bottom. And that is the Moho Exporter. It's awesome for bigger projects, as well as saving time when exporting out multiple files at once. If you'd like more information or tutorials or to purchase Moho, visit moho.smithmicro.com. <laughs>